Hey, what's up, people? Thank you for being here. Hello and warm welcome, ladies and gentlemen from all around the web. Okay, so today we'll be uh, moving on with uh, the previous video about Passport.js and we'll be doing some cookies stuff, right? We like cookies. And before really jumping into that, I would like to announce that I launched a new course on Symfony 4 that will be hosted on, on Udemy. And again, you could grab it with the coupon code that is on the description below. Normally, it's still on a review, but in like some hours, he will be live. And yeah, so we'll be able to uh, grab this course for uh, $9.9 bucks. I even forget how much price I said. So it's uh, 34, but uh, uh, as I said, uh, the coupon I just generated right now. So let's go ahead and create how to do that. Thanks. I think I already done that promotion. And okay, so you could use one of these two and you will have it for only nine boxes. Okay. So uh, let me just guide you a bit through the curriculum of this video series it's uh, four hours and a half i believe so so start by an introduction downloading symphony setting up all the things then we start talking about entities and uh, doctrine how to migrate things etc then we talk about forms a very important part of symphony and a bit down we will see quick intro to the doctrine word and building the block is taking a big part too so we'll be implementing all the knowledge into an ui and yeah that's some kind of a real application so symphony 4 getting started will be available in some hours as again the links will be in the description so feel free to purchase it and please please do comment and send feedbacks because that does help me to improve my things and for now i only have four courses uh, this one is kind of abandoned so i may remove it later but for now i have these four two for prestashop one for angular and one for symphony okay sorry for for the the intro for the long one but now let's go ahead and talk about our express okay so what's happening here let me just down my server and run on it again that we could start from something that is really scratchy and there is no, I still have some cookies right there. But anyway, uh, it seems like something is broken. It's not really decent, anyway. Okay, so today's video, as I said, will be sending cookies like so to and from the browser. And the very first thing to do is to enable what we call a session handler on, uh, on our application. So head to app.js and right here, I will create another const. Well, Actually, this one must be a const. I don't know why I call them vars, but anyway, not a big deal. So const and this one's too const perfect, not perfect actually. And let me create another const that would be called. Uh, let me call it cookie. Yeah, cookie session, for example, like that. And I'll be requiring the cookie session cookie session so sure you should install it if you don't have it uh, you have to run npm e session cookie and you will be good to go and the next thing is to tell our express application to use this middleware so somewhere right here after we do set things when we start using when we start doing the app.use and below the app or the passport initialization and passport session I will do app.use and i'll do cookie session which is this one and this one does accept some parameters so, so if i just control click on the and into it it has uh an input arguments table containing uh various options so uh we start defining them one by one and we will be defining the main important parts of it so if i do uh like one curly brace and hit control space i have a list of all the possible settings that i could uh or options that you could insert so the more important one is the max age so how long this session will be for now i will set it to be 20 seconds so it will be around 400 or 14 
microsecond and the next thing is the key so the key generally is the key that is used to encrypt our session and send it back to have this kind of random junky mambo stuff but uh, yeah so uh, you could leave it empty and you still have like uh, an encryption like so but the good things is all the good practices ways to define like a random key or store it somewhere in your configuration file for example if we do we jump into config and create a file with keys etc and right there you could generate the and you know the kind of things and just import it right here and insert it right here but for now i'll stick with this hello dear people from youtube from youtube yeah okay we we'll stick with that and that's it for now Okay, now I would like just to move back to Passport.js and do remind you that we did set these two things. So these two things would actually do, the first one is serialize user. So when everything went well with our authentication, this method from the Passport will do serialize our user using the key that we defined right here and set it the max age and send it back to the front or to the client or to the browser. Then this serialize is doing the opposite when we receive this junk from the front so it will be using the key that is defined right here to encrypt that these kind of uh, things and to know what is the user id etc and as you might see here we are doing um, user.findby and the id is passed as parameter right here onto this callback function okay time for truth let's go ahead and test these things up so if i do user login okay and I do login, I'm redirected back and look what happened here. So I'm having these session, express session and express uh, session ID right here. So it's set it to be 14 seconds or 20 seconds. Now if I do refresh, normally um, I would like to track this up. So um, right here, when I do send any request to the slash so normally it must be on the index.js right here i will do console log yeah this one so i already done that so normally now if i do refresh my page i must have okay so it's kind of something is sent let me just fix this up um i cannot send headers but anyway you, as you may see here we have an undefined mean that the user is gone so the session is destroyed i'd like to quickly show you what i mean so if i do user login and i just quickly type that and let's move some spaces refresh the page and there you go so we have a user uh, available for us with all the information and the password it's encrypted it's normal and there you go so now if i do refresh another time the session will be destroyed and i have no more user and I have, i'm having an undefined right there so the next thing here is to fix this issue i'm not connected but i'm still able to access this part of our application so to do that is to create another middleware and for the sake of time and speed up things i will create it right here so a middleware simply will be a function let's call it uh, check user session for example and it will accept the request a response and the next and what simply do it will check if not rack dot user then i'll do res dot redirect and it'll be redirecting my user to the users slash login page okay elsewhere i will do execute the next and let our code run properly the next thing is to call this dude into the root method and I'll just paste it right there and let it do its job so you could get rid of this one and let's go ahead and test it so now what the heck is that now if I do refresh look what happened it's redirecting me back to the login now if I do login and refresh another time everything went well until the session gets broken and I'll be redirected to the login page okay it seems like it's sticking I'll, i won't stop until it get destroyed and there you go so um that was uh, like more step with passport.js how to uh, 
how to use session and store it and uh, the kind of stuff so as you may see here also we don't have any cookies set because our session is destroyed so again thank you for people for uh, following me into this quick short video about passport uh, if you did not uh, watch the previous one I really invite you to watch it the link will be in the description yet again about my courses really I really advise you to check them out and yet again content with coupons or will be available in the description click there go discover it and purchase it and please don't forget to rate it because it does really help me to improve my things yet again thank you for watching and see you in another one